Hey guys, I'm coming at you with a super quick, easy Christmas look. So if you want to get a look like this, be sure to stay tuned. So let's get started. First, we're going to start with the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow pencil in the color dark brown. After I finish doing my eyebrows, I'm going to immediately start on doing my eye makeup. But first, we're going to be using a primer. Today, I'm using the Wet n Wild primer, and we're going to just put this on our lids, which will help to keep the makeup in place. So once we have our primer on, I'm going to start by using the Lorac Pro and today I'll also be using Sephora Color Wonderland. I have fallen in love with it. This was my early Christmas present and I gotta tell you guys, I am so happy I got it. So first I'm gonna start with a beige bright color for the middle and I got this out of the Sephora palette and after that we're gonna be using the Lorac to use the color pomegranate on the outsides of our beige kind of goldish color that was in the middle. So I don't normally use a flat brush to apply eyeshadow, but because I wanted to specifically place the eyeshadow today, I went ahead and used it to make it a little easier. We're gonna be adding a bright, vibrant pink on top of our pomegranate, just to help make it a little brighter and to really help it contrast against our goldish beige color. After we have brightened up our color, we're gonna add some more pomegranate right on top to help redden the color right back up. After this, we will be using a plum or eggplant color right in our crease. And then we will be returning back to our Lorac palette to get some rust and use it as our top color. And after we keep blending, we go ahead and touch up our beige goldish area one last time before adding highlighter to our brow bone. So when I do eye makeup, I do it really messy. So I just use makeup remover to always clean up before using my color corrector and concealer. I then just use my fingers to help blend out my concealer under my eyes. And then I will set under my eyes with my L'Oreal Pro Matte Powder Foundation using a NYX brush and instead of packing it on, I've been using just a little bit and then I swipe underneath because when you have contacts, it's really hard to pack on a lot of powder. So I have found that this is the best way for me to apply it when I have in contacts as well as to help to reduce creasing. So today for my eyeliner, I'm gonna be using Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner in the color black and we're just gonna use this liner to help give ourselves a nice long wing to go on the outside of our eyeshadow. So for our last step, we're going to be adding a silver liner right in our crease, which came with my Sephora kit. And I'm going to extend this all the way out to the end of my wing. I did not show it on camera, but I did smudge it out with a smudge brush. And then after that, I just added highlighter to our tear ducts. Of course we can't forget mascara this will help to bring our whole look together and after this we are pretty much all done after this I just added a little bit of chapstick just to moisturize my lips and a little bit of blush and that was it and we just fluff out our curls to complete our look I hope you guys enjoyed this so much I had so much fun and if you haven't already make sure to like and subscribe and I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas Bye.